Good morning and welcome back to Visit Felt Coast. I've made a school girl error this morning. I'm not put my glasses on. So I'm kind of going like that. So this is Wednesday morning and it's the morning after some really high tides and some really big winds on Tuesday. Um, yesterday was awful. The winds dropped immeasurably compared to yesterday. It was so, so windy. So I thought while it's still and... <coughs> It's not blowing a gale and it's not raining. I'd come and get some exercise and I'd come and have a look and see what kind of a mess the storm's left. So, so far, so good. I've walked up to the, I've walked up to the tank traps in front of Russell School, which is what these concrete blocks are known as. They're, they're the anti-tank, anti-tank blocks uh, to, stop, to stop the tanks coming up the beach in World War II. And there's some groundwork already being partly done up here. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look and see what's, what's happened after all that rough wind. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed. Make sure that you've hit the little bell for the notifications. And don't forget to sign up for your Visit Fell Coast email newsletter. And we'll go see what we can find. The new tow protection's done its job holding the beach in place. It's never been so clean after a storm. Just look how well that little wall's worked. This is the little diddy storm board that they put in at the end of at the end of the car parking area. And the council are leaving the storm boards in this week until Friday, and then they're going to make a call about whether or not they're going to take. The rest of them out for the weekend when they see what the the weather forecast is because as you can see <laughs> there's a lot of rubbish washed up here as well and a lot of sand here's the the little diddy man sweeping doing a wonderful job well he's not a diddy man it's a diddy sweeper that's what i meant so the stone boards are stopping in all the way along Cleveland's and Fleetwood Seafront because there's another really big tide on Thursday this week and it's going to be windy as well for the rest of the week so you'll be able to do what these lovely people are doing and you'll be able to go beyond them while it's safe and go onto the beach um, but if you come onto the promenade at the top of Cleveland's at the Sea Swallow, you are going to have to walk all the way down to here in order to get through the gates because they're all closed all the way up to Victoria Road West. And these have done exactly what they were supposed to do as well. The rocks are now all exposed down here. We've collected some rather some rather stunning bits of wood as well at the back of them if anybody wants any if anybody wants any firewood plenty of firewood if you can carry it if you can get it off the beach but the point of these is to protect the the concrete edge of the sea wall which runs about there from being undermined so as you can see we've already we've already achieved that function so here are the stone bars look so you're going to have to climb over them or access the promenade from the end of Victoria Road West or from, um, go on, Russell Prom, which is at the, at the back of it. It's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad at all. Thought we'd just have a little bit of litter education on the way past. I noticed all these little white dots. And I thought at first the barnacles, the barnacles that have been knocked off, but they're not actually, they're polystyrene. Look, there's a great big lump of it there. And these are all little individual dots of polystyrene that have all been broken off and bashed up with a sanitary wire. Um, and that's why, that's why we don't like rubbish on the beach because it, 
it just gets ground down into tiny, tiny little bits. Oh, there's another ton here. It gets ground down into tiny, tiny little bits. And then it all ends up disappearing into microplastics. And you don't want that, do you? You don't want the cod that you're eating, eating polystyrene because then you end up eating it. I've just seen the guy from the council. He's just looked over the over the sea wall to see what the what the damage is, what the de devastation is. I've just said to him, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Normally, after a, a tide like that, it would have it would have looked like a bomb had dropped. Right, for all you doubters that think that the groins are going to make the beach drop, this big groin here has been in about nine years, I would say. We, 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 it's fondly known as the terminal groin. So you can see how little it looks. And that groin is actually enormous. And the rocks come to about there. And they, they splay at the end into a, into a sort of a Y shape. It looks a bit like Jesus on the cross. And all of that has all disappeared underneath the beach. And the beach is all built up round it because the rocks have reduced the turbulence in the water. For everybody that thinks that the groins are permeable and they let all the beach material through, well, there you go, there's living proof that they don't. And at the end of that, we used to have a really, really deep channel that everybody used to get stuck in and cut off. And we've had a few near misses from that one. Um, and as, as you can see, it's disappeared. It's now relatively flat. Look at all this muck here. And this is what I was telling you about storm gates. So these are the metal ones that are inserted into the relatively new seawall. And they stop the tide coming up and through the gap in the seawall. So this is the vehicle access that the diggers use when they're coming down onto the beach. Um, and they're closed. They're closed all the way down to Russell Promenade, which is where we've just come from down there, where you can park your car, and all the way to the Sea Swallow, which is the big white sculpture, down there at the end of Victoria Road. So if you're going to come on the prom between now and Friday, you, and possibly the weekend, you're going to have to either walk further than you thought or climb over the storm gate which is not to be advised if you're anything other than sprightly. Um, just, a, just an observation on the way past. These gates are just closed if they bring in um, rocks and heavy machinery and plant and whatnot through. Oh, Mary's shell look. So, you might remember there were some rocks plonked plonked ever so delicately in a curve at the back of Mary's shell there. And there to stop the beach scouring out round the shell itself. Now you might remember a few weeks ago when we came back along the beach, it is a few weeks, that there was a huge great big puddle round the shell and the, the beach was all all sort of dug out and scoured. And it's all been it's all being brought back up. Look, it's all it's all lifted the puddle's gone and now you can get to Mary's shell as you designed to you can climb inside it and do what you want to do and since this is now nice flat sandy beach I thought I'd I thought I'd uh, come and come and take a look because it's a while since we've been able to actually get up to the shell so easily for all those great big puddles so you can actually you can actually climb inside it which is what I'm going to do you've got to be careful Watch your feet. Ooh, it goes all over neck away. And then you can get inside and you can take your take your photos and do your selfies and all the rest of it. There you go. Got into it. <coughs> so there's another example of yes, rocks do enable the beach to build up. 
and that's just in a few weeks. The auger, if anybody's looking for him, is just on the end of that groin there. He's very green at the minute, so he's, he's very blended in. They've disappeared quite a lot, actually. They were quite tall when they were first put in. So there you go. There's the, the guy from the council look, looking, checking to see what's, what's to do today after all that big tide. So I hope you've enjoyed that little look around. I thought we might have had some devastation to report, but there's not really, is there? Which is all good news. So from Mary Shell in Cleveland's Beach, I will bid you a good day and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. Visit newsletter. See you later. Bye for now.